Hey folks, this is Uncle Drums. I'm here in a place like Lewisham, here to interview my mate called Steve. How you doing, Steve? Hi, oh, fine. I'm fine. You good, yeah? Yeah. All right, excellent. So, Steve, how's, how's your day been today, mate? Well, today, not so busy. Yesterday, very busy. Today, it's just been uh, a little so-so. It's been all right. Okay. You know, 50, 50, I have a lot 50, of yeah? regulars that come here every time I set up, so I've got a good lot of regulars in Lewisham and Catford, and they come. Excellent. And they really like this sort of stuff. Excellent. So, right, Steve, so what's your what's your profession? What type of job do you do? Well, this is market trading. I sell incense uh, and anything to do with it, oil burners, dream catchers, and I also spend a little time with people, um, determine their needs, and sometimes even talk to them about well, things that they, they're going through and the in, a mood, instance that might help put them in a better mood and help with the things they're going through and all that. Definitely. So how long have you been doing this type of trade for? I've been nearly 10 years doing this now. Uh, yeah, I've been nearly 10 years in Lewisham doing this. Okay, just in Lewisham or other now, places? Catford, I've also done Catford, Deptford High Street, Croydon, uh, but, and I've just now narrowed, narrowed it down to Catford and Lewisham. Excellent. Excellent. So, what did you say? You sell dream catchers, incense? Dream catchers, Native American dream catchers, yep. which are these. Yep. Could you, um, you want to break that down a little bit, just for people, so they've yeah, got an the understanding? Native American dream catchers, I understand the Native American Indians would make the ch dream catcher for the children's sleeping area to stop them having the bad dreams. Yep. And they're very popular, and people from all walks of life and ages groups come and buy them. Okay. They're, very, they're very popular. Okay. So that's a spiritual thing, right? Yeah, it's a spiritual thing. I've got other spiritual things on the stall, um, like incense. I've got frankincense and myrrh. Yeah, frankincense and myrrh, up. incense, and and also the resin frankincense and myrrh are very spiritual. A lot of people will buy this to burn when they move into a home for the first time. They will but they will cleanse the place before they start living there. Definitely. I sell an awful lot of that for that reason. Definitely. Um, and some of the incense is just nice perfume and fragrance. They buy it for just a lovely fragrance to have around the place. Yeah. So it's very uplifting when you come in to come home to a lovely welcoming fragrance in your home. So I sell a lot of the incense sticks for that. And I've got these lovely powders here that are burning the oil burner for the same reason. A lot of them are like Coco Chanel, but uh, perfumed like Coco Chanel, Angel, Eternity, yeah. all those sort of fragrances. Yeah. And, and they are very good sellers, they really are. Okay. And I get a, and I get a lot of people come back and repeat business, buy them time and time again. Okay. Your clientele, Steve, is it is it, is it older people or younger people? Uh, people from all walks of life. They really are. Every, a mixture. Yeah. You get your teenagers upwards to old age pensioners. All sorts of cross sections of society of age groups come here all the time. And what what do they mainly come for? Incense. Yeah. A lot of it, incense sticks is one of the really good sellers, and those powders do very well as well. Okay. And, and fast behind that is the dream catchers, they sell quite nicely too, but the, the sticks and the powders are the two best sellers here. Okay, excellent. Alright Steve, I understand that you sell healing crystals as well? Right. I've heard crystals, yeah. I'd say these are for personal development. I sell all different types. This is just a selection. Okay. Uh, citrine, yeah. a amethyst, tiger's eye, obsidian, and they're all said to have different properties. Yeah. And people buy them for crystal healing and things like that. Okay. Excellent. Yeah, so that's the kind of crystals that you're selling, yeah? Yes, I sell more than that. This is just a selection of a bigger selection that I've got here. I get, and if you want, I can even get the ones if you want, if you tell me I can order them for you. Okay. So I can get those all reasonably priced from a pound upwards. Excellent. And also, I also do a good selection of different coloured candles. And I understand too, burning these different coloured candles give off a different energy. Yeah. Like people with money problems often burn a green one, yes. a blue one for healing. Yeah. If you want love present in your life, a, a red one for instance. Yeah. And then... What's, I, the, what's the yellow one for? And that one, I would say once again, is, is a good one if you have money problems too. Okay. Money problems too for healing of the financial situation, okay. I've been told. Okay. Um, also, are uh, these big white pillar candles are very good. Yeah. Like, I, have you ever noticed in the church they burn these? A lot of those they burn lot, them yeah, for yeah. peace. So it's a good idea to burn one of those in the home in the evening as well. Okay. They have peace around you as well. Yeah, yeah. And I didn't. So the candles and the different images they use, it's yep. a good idea to burn these regularly as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yep. these are very, very good sellers as well. 
very so you, do you sell do you sell a lot of green and yellow then? I sell <laughs> all different colours, you name it, I sell it. I've got a box of every colour you can think of in it. Okay. Even grey and black candles I sell. And black oh. is to burn the negativity out of your place to burn the black candles. Seriously? Yeah, I have them as well. Okay. So I do all colours and as many as you like. If you wanted a bigger order, you give me notice, I'll get them in ready for you. Do you, do you, is, can you get a grey candle? Yes, I've got grey candles. What does grey candles, but what is that? that well, meaning for them, I don't know. They sell very few, but there are certain people that come for them, but I've never asked what the, the purpose of a grey candle is. Okay, okay. Thank you for that. Steve, I've got a clear understanding when it comes to the candles. Is there anything else that yeah. you have of interest? Yes, I have. I also do a selection of things like tarot cards. Okay. These are like the basic set, only £10. Right. I do a selection of different tarot cards. Is that the first one I think yeah. All yeah. right. uh, yeah. Angel cards, I've sold those, I haven't got any at the moment, but I sell angel cards. Okay. Even things like the crystal ball as well. I get certain my customers come to that the look, store. That looks like a toy, is that a real one? That is a real genuine crystal ball. Okay. And uh, certain customers that come to the store can actually read the crystal ball. It's something you have to develop though yourself. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I do all that and I do all different size crystal balls as well. I, I sell them all the time. Okay. So I've got a lot, lots of divinationary uh, things on the stall as well. If that's what you're into, tarot or angel cards, crystal balls, I sell all that as well. Okay, so you get you get like a mixture of customers. Like I do. some customers just come for, for nice fragrances, incense. and some are very spiritual, and I look after their needs as well. Okay. And if they want to talk about their spiritual needs, I will spend time and talk to them about it as well. Okay, okay, okay. okay so, Steve. Yeah. Well, Steve, I want to say thank you for today. That's all right. You've definitely enlightened us on a lot of lot of things on your stool. Okay. And one, one thing one thing I want to ask you before I go though, Steve, yeah? Sure. yeah? Uh, you see these powders, yeah? Yes. These powders here. Can you just break them down just a little bit? Just well, these okay. ones. Okay. Well you burn if you do, you get an oil burner, yeah. you powder it in there, then light a tea candle underneath. Yep. Yeah. And as the powder gets warm it gives off a lovely fragrance. Okay. So I've got things like perfume angel, yeah. CK1, mm -hmm. Uh, Coco Chanel, yeah. uh, beautiful. Then I've got things like lavender, yeah. frankincense, yeah. lemon and lime, and then mixtures like fruit salad, apple. I've got all different fragrances you can think of in yeah. those powders, and okay. they are really nice and very, very popular. Excellent. So when you burn it in that in that, yeah, in that powder, little thing yeah. there, yeah, yes, it turns into a liquid. No, ice. no, no. The powder just gets warm and starts giving off a lovely fragrance. So it doesn't melt. No, it doesn't melt. It just gives off a lovely fragrance. Oh, excellent. if you want to go out, just blow the candle out and leave it. It'll be fine. Come home, light the candle again, and the fragrance starts up again. Wow, it's really nice. So it's like hot, hot rocks type of thing. No, no, it doesn't get hot at all. It just as the powder gets warm under the candle, it starts to give off a lovely fragrance. Wow, it's really nice. That it, is that's enlightening. Yeah. It, it burn one in your front room, the whole front room will smell lovely and it gets rid of cooking smell, or cigarette smell, anything like that. Wow. So Steve, in case anybody wants to find you to get some of these incense and all that stuff, where exactly are you in Lewisham? I'm outside the Santander Bank, just there. Let's have a look, let's have a look, let's have a look. Just there. Right there? Yeah. So right there, yeah? Yeah, and, and if I'm not here, I'm at, I do every Tuesday and every Saturday I'm at Catford, outside Barclays Bank. Excellent. Cheers. All right, Steve, so how can you be reached, mate? I'm on Facebook. Uh, just look under Incense and More. And also a Facebook page, Steve O'Dell. I can also find me there. Two pages on Facebook. Okay, excellent. So Steve O'Dell. Yeah, Steve O'Dell, that's it. So, oh, and the Steve O'Dell, that's my personal page. Yeah. And then the, the stall is under Incense and More. Okay, so this one here, yeah? Yeah, that's it, Incense and More. Incense and More. Yeah. All right, mate. Thanks very much for your time, Steve. No problem, mate. Have no a problem. great day, yeah? Thank you, mate. Excellent, mate. Right.